If you like the amber accent light appearance and are looking for an incredibly easy and affordable way to add it to your 2020 or newer Gladiator JT, this Oracle Pre-Runner Style LED Grill Light Kit will do just the trick. Now this will offer the Baja or pre-runner styling to the front of your Jeep with three powerful amber LEDs that mount right into the grill inserts. This will also be great for the JT owners who are a fan of their factory grill and would rather add to it to get some additional off-road styling instead of replacing it. Now this kit will be pretty simple and straightforward and consist of three 3-watt three amber LED lights that will mount right into the factory grill. These will mount with the included hardware in the kit and won't require any modification to the grill, which will be great if you're looking for a non-permanent solution. This will also include a long lead of wires with one plug and play end, making the install pretty straightforward if you have a little bit of wiring experience. Like I mentioned, these will be super affordable at around $50 for the entire kit. Now, other kits on the page will be set up pretty similar to this. However, some may include an amber lens, as to where this is going to have a clear lens staying pretty subtle uh, with the amber LED inside when it's mounted up to the grill. Instead of that Baja look, you're getting 24 seven with other choices. Now that's pretty minute, but it may be more up your alley to have a clear lens. So if you are looking for that, if you're looking for a good set of amber accent lights for your grill at a very affordable price, then this is a great kit to choose. Now, the install will be a light two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter since there is a little bit of wiring required. So this should take you about an hour to get the job done with some pretty basic hand tools. Now at this point, we can head over to the shop and check out a detailed breakdown of the install and what that looks like. So that's gonna wrap it up for me. Let's go ahead and get into it. The tools you're gonna need for this installation include trim removal tool, 14 millimeter wrench, needle nose pliers, diagonal cutters, zip ties, and scotch lock connectors. How's it going everybody? Today we have a set of grill lights we're going to install in the Gladiator. I'm going to show you how to do it step by step. So we're going to get started with the uninstall of the grill. We're getting started with the hood up and on top of the grill there's six plastic push clips that we have to remove using our trim removal tool. Now there's three on this side right about here's one, two, and three. And then on the other side there's three more in the same locations. All right we're going to remove the three on the driver's side. So the first one's here, and I'm prying from underneath the grill. Just makes it a little bit easier. Just be careful not to break the plastic push clips we can replace. There's number three. And we're gonna move across to the passenger side and get the other three. Great, passenger side now. And if they accidentally kind of go back in the hole as you're prime, just work your way across while putting some tension on the grill. All right, with all the clips removed, we can now grab it from the bottom and pull it out of the clips. Now there's several spring clips that are holding the grill in at the bottom. So we're just gonna grab onto the bottom of the grill and firmly pull out and then we can get it out of the way. For the next step, we're gonna be removing our inner fender liner here on the front driver side fender. And the reason we're taking this down is because we have to get access to the marker light wiring. That's where, uh, that's where we're gonna be wiring in our light kit. Uh, our fender liner is already taken down, but I'm gonna show you how you're gonna do it. So you're gonna need a few tools, one being a 10 millimeter socket, just to remove a couple bolts about right here and here. You also need your eight millimeter socket. There's a couple bolts right around here in the front of the fender. Then also trim removal tool. There's a couple pop clips all along the fender. And lastly, probably a small Phillips head screwdriver will work. You're just gonna push in the center of these push clips right here. And I guess I would just advise you just to take as many out as you need, just to get enough clearance to reach this wiring here. Now to get started with the install, the first thing we're gonna do is mount our lights up. Now we got three lights in this kit. And as you can say, see, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes in our grill here. So you can mount these wherever you'd like. I figure it'd be aesthetically pleasing just to go every other grill and that way they're all evenly separated. So you're gonna need those three lights, the washers and the harness extension that comes with the kit and a 14 millimeter wrench. All right, so go ahead, grab one of your lights. And as you can see, there is a nut on the back of it. So let's unscrew that and slide it off of our wire. 
Now we're gonna grab one of the washers and slide that over and onto the light. And now you can pop it into the position you'd like on the grill. I'm gonna go right here, kind of centered with the light. I think that'll look nice. Once that's in place, we're gonna slip over another washer over the wire and all the way up onto the light. And this is gonna compress the light onto the grill. So next we're gonna replace the nut that we took off. And we're just gonna put it on hand tight for now. All right, and we're gonna do the other two lights the same way and I'm gonna flip the grill over to show you the action from the other side. All right, so I already have the nut off of my second light here and the washer on as well. And then the third light, let me slide the washer on this guy. All right, once you have all your hardware together, just wanna eyeball it, make sure everything's as centered as you can get it or as you'd like it. And then we're gonna grab our 14 millimeter wrench and just snug these down a little bit. No need to over tighten, just enough so that they don't move. I'd say about a half to three quarter turn once it's all the way hand tight. All right, now that everything's tightened down, we can grab our wire harness extension and connect all the connectors together. All right, so when you separate this thing, you'll notice that one end has power and ground and the other end separates into three connectors. So all three connectors will be, or all three lights will be powered by the same source, which is gonna be our marker light. And since we're going, we're going towards the driver side, which is actually going to be this side, yes. Let's go ahead and route the wire that way. So we're gonna bring it above the grill like this too. So just as a note. So then you can organize the wires to the lights that they need to go to because these um, wire extensions are different lengths you can see. But as we have them, pretty much any way you connect them will work. And these are simple push clip connectors you get a little bit of a audible sound when they're seated properly. All right, now that we have everything connected, at this point might be a good idea just to grab some zip ties and clean it up. I'm just gonna kind of route it for now. There's a couple good spots we can put the wires, but once you get that all sorted as you like it, you can go ahead and put this grill back on our Jeep. At this point, we can remount our grill. So just make sure that your wires are up and out of the way. Make sure they're not in the way of any pinch points back here. And we can go ahead and line our spring clips up with the bottom of our rat support and get this in place. Now we're gonna line up our spring slash push clips here with the holes in the bottom of a rad support here. Now for the wires, I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna be routing these. So there's one nice zip, uh, zip tie spot that I found. So at this point, grab one of your zip ties and your diagonal cutters 
And I want to point out that there's a nice cutout at the top of this grill here where we can bring our wires through. Then I'm going to run it through this bracket here and along down here. All right, and then this bracket right here, I'm going to put a zip tie through. Just keep this nice and tidy right here. And for the rest of the wire, I'm going to feed it down here into the fender so that we can reach our marker light wiring. Right, I'll pull the rest of that through from under the fender. So go ahead, grab your zip tie, feed it through here. Go ahead, pull all the wire through that you need. Just keep it nice and neat, cinch it down, and cut the excess zip tie off. All right, we're back here by the fender, and we're gonna pull the rest of our wires through from our grill light kit. And then we're gonna identify the marker light wiring and tap into that as well. So let's get in here and get started on that. Now we're gonna pull the rest of our wire out from our grill light kit here. So locate that, just pull as much through as you can. And we're just gonna set that out of the way for now. So I'm gonna show you how to identify the marker light wiring. So if you just follow your marker light lens here, straight across underneath the fender. You should find a two wire harness right here. So really small, two wires, black and white, and you follow that over to the connector. And this is also held down by a zip tie clip. So I'm just gonna pull the zip tie clip off of the fender so I can give you a better view of the marker harness. There we go. So it's this guy right here. And here's the connector for it. Now the connector, um, the little clip that holds it in place is really hard to see on camera, but I'm, try, I'm gonna try to show you how to do it as best I can. So what I do is there's just a little tab right here that I can get my thumbnail under. So you just pull that up slightly and then just put some tension on the wire as you're doing that and you can pop it right out. So. I don't know if you can see it, but it's right here on this end of the connector is the uh, little clip that you want to pry up on. All right, so for this, uh, the white wire is our positive and the black is our negative. So what we're going to do at this point is go ahead and tap into both of these. Our red wire from our lights is going to go to the white and the black to the black. Our kit comes with a scotch lock for the positive side of the wire and it also comes with a ring terminal here for the negative side. So you can use both of these straight out the kit. Um, this for the negative O-ring terminal here, you would have to find a good spot to either you know, find a screw that has a nice ground to it that you can screw this into once you connect it, or you know, find a spot where you can drill into the body uh, and ground this out. So I'm not gonna be using this, but that is an option for you. I am gonna be using the positive scotch lock and I'm grabbing another one for the negative side. So I'm just gonna tap into both sides of my marker light harness and then connect these into the scotch locks as well. All right, for our scotch locks, I'm just gonna feed this over top of the wires. So I'm gonna keep the red one for the positive wire. And as you can see, there's like two holes in here in the scotch lock, so just get that into one of the holes. I'm gonna keep it on this one here, the, the outermost hole, so that I can feed our positive wire from the light into the other one. And I'm just gonna, actually, I think it might be better if we come from the back side here like this. And you don't wanna expose the wire, so just feed it in enough so that this, um, this spade here, once we crimp this down, will grab that wire. So once we have it in position, go ahead and push this tab over and click it into place. Now, I'm gonna need some needle nose pliers to help out just to crimp this down the rest of the way, which will then connect these wires together through that spade. There we go. 
All right, and we're gonna do the same thing for the negative wire, and then we're gonna route the rest of this wire and just get it up and zip tied so it's nice and tidy. I'm gonna kind of offset these just to make it a little neater once we tuck it back up in. Okay, and again, just make sure that you're not exposing the other end of the wire. And then lock the scotch lock in place. This one's being a little finicky, so I'm gonna go ahead and just grab the needle nose from here, hold it in place, and then crimp this together. There we go. All right, now at this time, we can route these wires and zip tie them out of the way. So there is, no, it's, hard if not impossible to see up here, but there's some uh, other wire harnesses that we can zip tie to and keep these nice and neat. Right, right up here is the wire harnesses I was talking about. These are nice and secure here, so I figured it's a good spot to zip tie our wires to. Once you have your wires tidied up, Go ahead and reconnect your marker light connector. And if you took it out of the, the push clip off like I did, go ahead and reconnect that to the fender as well. All right, and at this point, you can put your fender liner back up. Lastly, we're gonna grab the six push clips that we removed during the uninstall and put those back in place on the top of our grill. That's gonna wrap up this review and install of the Oracle Pre-Runner Style LED Grill Light Kit in the amber color for your 20 and newer Gladiator JT. Thank you for watching, and for all things Gladiator, keep it right here at extremeterrain.com. <laughs>